Hello, my younglings. Today I will tell you about the relationship between mathematics and natural forms. Do you know how spirals in a sunflower are formed? That's what Mark asked me. Or what is the connection between drones, male bees, and my grandma Joanna? Yes, yes, it's all in the numbers. Listen carefully. When we are little, numbers serve us to count our fingers, cookies, clouds, friends, crushes. Crushes! I'm a bit shy here, but did you know that these same numbers are mutually connected and that with their connections, many things in nature can be explained? Because nature loves maths. For example, Grandma Joanna's sequence was discovered by my grandma who loves maths. Yours, human mathematicians, call it the Fibonacci sequence. And here's how my grandma explained it to me. Let's imagine we have a magical box that constantly makes numbers. Each time we open the box, it combines the last two numbers we put inside and makes a new number, their sum. First, we put two small numbers in the box, one and one. When we combine them, we get two, because one plus one equals two. Now in the box, we have numbers one, one, and two. Next time, the box takes the last two numbers, one and two, and combines them, making three, because one plus two equals three. Now in the box, we have one, one, two, and three. Then the box takes two and three and combines them to make five because two plus three equals five. Now in the box, we have numbers one, one, two, three, and five. What's the next number in grandma's series? Well, yes, three plus five equals eight. Now there are one, one, two, three, five, and eight, and so on. The sequence grows rapidly. We continue like this and each time we get a new number, which is the sum of the last two numbers in the box. This magical sequence of numbers is called Grandma Joanna's sequence. Sorry, it's called Fibonacci sequence in human words. Now that you've understood it, let's see what we can explain in nature with this new knowledge. If you carefully look at the center of a sunflower, you will see spirals that rotate and make beautiful shapes. These spirals follow the rule of the Fibonacci sequence. This means that the seeds in the sunflower are arranged in a very special and mathematical way. And now you know that mathematical secret. Need another example? Well, every pine cone has two spirals that rotate in opposite directions. And the number of steps in each spiral almost always corresponds to a pair of consecutive Fibonacci numbers. Make sure to check it yourself next time you find a pine cone. Here's another one. Snails have shells that are curved in a spiral shape following the Fibonacci sequence. This means that as the snail grows, its shell expands in a way that follows these special numbers. Have you seen a snail recently? Did you offer it a cabbage leaf? These same rules apply to many shells that are animal houses. For example, the Nautilus, a creature from the depths of the ocean. Did you know that Nautilus has a turbo jet propulsion system? If you want me to explain how, write me an email. But let's get back to Grandma Joanna's sequence. One more example. Far out in space, spiral galaxies like our Milky Way follow the Fibonacci sequence. They have spiral arms that wind according to a pattern reminiscent of the Fibonacci spiral. What? Oh yes, I asked at the beginning, what is the connection between drones and my grandma? Well, grandma discovered, and now your human scientists have confirmed that in the world of bees, the Fibonacci sequence appears interestingly. If you divide the number of female bees in the hive by the number of males, you usually get a number very close to 1.618, which can be obtained from the Fibonacci sequence and is called the golden ratio. They say that number is also the secret of beauty. Oh, I shouldn't have revealed this nature's secret to you. Dear, dear, dear. Well, it doesn't matter. I love it when someone is interested in knowledge. Let me explain to you, it's simple. If you divide a larger number from the Fibonacci sequence by the next smaller number, you get a special number. The larger the numbers, the closer that special number is to the number called the golden ratio, which is approximately 1.618. Nature likes to use both the Fibonacci sequence and the golden ratio to create beautiful and harmonious shapes such as shell shapes, leaf arrangements on plants, and the shapes of some galaxies. So the golden ratio is like a secret formula for creating things that look beautiful and perfect 
in nature. Once your species, the human species, understood this, it started using the golden ratio in art and architecture. And the application is simple. For example, the width and height of a building are in the ratio of the golden number. And for example, the proportions in which some famous paintings are painted, even the screens on your phones and televisions. Ha! You didn't know that, did you? All these examples show how nature is full of magical numbers and patterns that accompany them. Just like in Grandma's magical box with numbers, nature combines these special numbers to make all those beautiful things we see around us. I hope I've been very boring today. I'll be back again if you send me an interesting question. Yours truly, Troll Mitros. Naturally.